Hey guys, welcome to the Tagman channel. Thanks for joining me today. I had a question on uh, the last video I put up about how many trucks do I actually have. So I thought I'd do a quick little tour. 1947 Studebaker M5. It's just like the one my dad bought back in 1947. Uh, on my dad's truck, they actually somehow, and there's a box I found for it. They actually hauled two cows up from New Jersey in like 48. I didn't see it. I still have a hard time believing it because that's a small box. But I do remember them having racks on the box, and I, I guess you could. You could squeeze two cows in there if they're small, young ones, heifers. Anyway, that's, uh, that's one project right there, and it's, uh, it's a big one. I do have some videos on that when I worked on it a couple years ago. Okay, here's another truck I affectionately named Frankenford. This hasn't been on the road in years now because I really screwed up. I put a 4BT engine in it, drove it for like a year, it ran great, but something wore a hole in the oil filter and I lost oil pressure and blew it up. Yeah, it's been a while since I worked on it. And you know what, it's a real shame because that motor was just tight and fresh and it ran like a top and it should have gone 400,000 miles. But sometimes I'm an idiot, it happens. But there it is, I got a little 4BT squeeze in there, thing was torquey as heck, ran great. Ford should have done it instead of having me have to do it myself because it was really a cool little truck. Right now it's Wasp Haven. I see Wasp flying all over the place. But eventually I'm going to get this in the shop because the body's still solid and tight and I'm going to pull that motor out and we'll find out what's wrong with it. Maybe it's just an easy spun bearing thing I can fix easy. Maybe it's a complete rebuild. I don't know which. Well, we'll see. It'll, it's on the list. 02 Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins 6 speed. Kind of a neat truck, it's, um, it was well used. It's got a ton of miles on it. The frame's still decent on this truck. It needs a little work. It's got a dump flatbed. It's a dually, but this cab is shot. Just absolutely shot. It's not even something I wanna work on at all. Of course, the doors are frozen shut. But this is another one, and it's on the list. Okay, here's a truck. I got a couple boxes sitting. Well, it's got one box on it and one box sitting on it. It's fairly decent shape. It needs a little work, but uh, this body is shot too. Uh, it had a good running 24 valve in it. Uh, the transmission was a little goofy. It was rebuilt, but who knows? You know, sometimes these rebuilt transmissions just don't hold up. So there's another truck. And there's this truck, which is a half ton truck. But this truck is from South Carolina. And it's solid. It's got some dings and dents everywhere, but no rust. So I'm thinking this truck's gonna wind up being a grail truck. Uh, I've got a P-pump motor to put in it. I've got a five-speed NV4500 to put in it. And I've got axles to throw under it. The frames are the same on these trucks, three-quarter ton and half ton. The only difference is the spring width on the rear springs. And there might be a little difference up front, but I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But this is... It's all metal, it's all here. This is probably going to be the truck that I'm gonna keep for the duration. All right, this is my daily driver. This truck is a two-wheel drive Hemi truck. It's an 03. When I got it, the nose was smashed. And at the time I thought, hey, I'll upgrade it. I'll update the nose. I updated everything except for the grill, which makes it look a little goofy, but the only thing it does is it rubs here. But we've put, I got this truck with about 80,000 miles on it wrecked. Paid $900 for it. A body shop had it. Once I found out it was only two-wheel drive, they didn't want it anymore. But you know what? Two-wheel drive is great 364 days of the year. So once in a while, it's nice to have that four-wheel drive. But for the most part, two-wheel drive truck goes, and the traction's good on this. It's got a really good, um, it's got a tight rear end that uh, really grips. We've put about 80,000 miles on this truck. And when I got done, I probably had two grand in it. And it was a really solid truck for a lot of years, like four years, but now it's starting to come apart. It's starting to get kind of rusty around the back wheel wells and the frame's still good, but it's, it's, start, it's getting rusty a little bit. I guess what I ought to do at the price of trucks nowadays is get this in the shop too and work on it and get her squared away. Cause it's still a good running truck. And the Hemis are a good motor. They'll go 300,000 last I knew. One of the big things I did with this truck when I got it, since the whole nose was off anyway, I got in there and changed the valve springs and seals because uh, the valve springs on the 03s and 4s tend to be problematic and they snap and blow your motor up. So I changed that and it's been a good running truck ever since, except for now it needs a fuel pump. Okay, here's a truck I bought at the sale. I, uh, I don't know, it's all rotten and it doesn't run good either. <laughs> so, but the frame is good on this truck, unbelievably. 
I crawled under and I'm like, wow, this frame's in great shape. I mean, as far as Northeast PA frames go, but the body's, the body's had it. I mean, I just, I just lost about four pounds when I kicked it there. Box is shot, tailgate shot, this door doesn't work. I don't know, frame, motor, trans, Cummins truck. Then there's this truck, and I picked this up. It's an 03 also. This truck I bought it because it's pretty darn solid. I mean, it's, it's still got metal in it. Another one that's dented up somewhat. Originally it came from New Jersey. I've got a clean title on this truck. It's got the 4.7 in it that I screwed up when I put it back together. I have a videos on it. It's a 4.7 that I got from a Jeep. I had the older system, which was the uh, JTEC, I think, and then the next gen came out, which was the uh, uh, N-Gen or whatever. They, I, I don't remember. It's the stupid computer systems were different on Chrysler vehicles, and the Jeep's got the new system later. So I got the motor, and I switched everything over, and in putting it back together, it started and ran, and ran okay, and then it ran, well, you can watch the video, it's a mess. So I really goofed that one up. But, guess what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna put this running drive train in it. Okay, this is a neighbor's truck. Uh, he sold it to me because it's just not worth fixing. The body is shot on it, it's uh, just banged up, dented, frames broke, doors hang funny, it stinks, batteries are dead again, darn it. Can't even close the door. This truck quit running, it just quit running on them, and then it started running on them for a while again, and then it quit again, and it's just, um, it's got some wiring issue somewhere, so we'll have to figure that out. But I want to take the whole drivetrain out of this, which is a 03 Cummins six-speed, and put it in the silver truck. I'm gonna have to dig up a frame, because those frames are not the same. But you can see this frame is uh, toast, so. And that is nothing even to weld to anymore. Ranger! So here's a Ranger I picked up at the sale. Really nothing great about it, but I got it for parts. There's a couple parts on here I'll need, and then I'll probably scrap the rest. The box is pretty beat up. I mean, everything's pretty beat up. It does run, not exciting, but it is a square body truck. It's not the one you really want because it's got the ugly post 88 nose on it. It's kind of homely, but uh, mainly I got this for parts for the other Ranger. And here it is, the other Ranger. But this Ranger is solid. We got a nice solid Ranger here. The box is solid all the way around. It's all metal. The cab is solid. It's all metal, no putty, no nothing, but it's clean. If I look up under the lips, they're all good. Really in great shape. And these Rangers are getting rare and they're sought after. I do have the grill and this is under the hood and there's more wasps flying out at me now. I had one of these once when Connor was little, back in the early 90s and I, I dropped the V8 in it, a 302. And it ran really nice, it was a great truck. I used to drive it to work every day and it was a fun little truck. So this is something I wanna get after before it sits here and goes downhill. And this is the Dodge Cummins truck. It's a 06, 2500. The body's fairly decent on this truck. Uh, it needs a little work. I gotta do a little patchwork. But the big thing is the motor puked. I do have videos on the motor. Uh, number five connecting rod bolt cut loose and I was going to uh, New Jersey with the trailer when it happened. I got to Scranton and there she sat. But she's not in horrible shape. I gotta get her dug out and I've got the motor. Engine should be done down at uh, Van Gordon's uh, engine shop, get the motor put back together and uh, go from there. And there's this truck. The guy had wrecked it and the front track bar was kind of goofed up. And uh, I had this truck for a few years and then I just sprayed it up with some primer because it was all different colors. The guy had different doors on it and everything. It's not in too bad a shape. It needs some rocker panel work. Uh, the thing runs great. And I sold it to my neighbor kid and then I bought it back. He blew the transmission up. He actually had it redone and then blew it up. I don't know, I guess it was not that great of a rebuild. The frame's in pretty decent shape. Uh, the whole truck's in decent shape. I do have to put a transmission in it. And I'll probably just throw an automatic back in this and make it a drivable running truck again. Probably not a beauty queen, but I'll fix it up and, and make it so it's decent again. So I'm gonna work on this and get, get this shaped up too. We put the fourth gen bumper on it, which some people like, Connor hates. I don't know, I'm kind of torn on it. I don't think it looks great either. But whatever, there's another truck. And I got the new F-150, the one I picked up at the, well, it's not new, it's an 06, but it's the one I picked up at the sale. Um, I got a, a video on that too, where I went to the auction and, and bought this truck. This truck's really a very nice truck, especially for the year. 
Uh, it's originally from Delaware, so it's pretty solid. It's pretty nice inside, it doesn't stink. It's a good looking truck. Um, so I gotta vacuum it out and stuff, but it's not horrible. I think I'm gonna make this a daily driver and uh, and keep this. Got a couple videos coming up where I'll be working on a motor that we're gonna put back together and put in this truck. Suck the valve, I did tear it apart and get into it. So I'm looking forward to getting this done. I think the F-150s ride pretty nice and I like that, you know? Be nice to have a nice riding truck for a change. So that's this truck. So guys, kind of neat. I just popped in at the barbecue and they're making a movie. So you guys are doing a werewolf movie. Fantastic. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm Joe DeMiro. <laughs> Many people remember me from the police days back then. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I, rem I recognize you now, Joe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, we're here filming Market a Werewolf here at Red Rock Barbecue. And uh, when we get it ready to premiere, it'll be up in Binghamton. That'll be fantastic. Yes. We'll be looking forward to it. Yes. yes. When the full moon was out, you could have met the werewolf, but it kind of only comes out on the full moon. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm fresh out of silver bullets. Oh, no. <laughs> well, this is cool. Anyway, here's another one of my trucks. It's a 61 F100, and it's called a unibody. If you look at it, the truck body, the cab, there's no separate box. It's all built right in. I didn't even know there was such a thing until a kid offered it to me on trade for a Dodge Cummins truck that I had rebuilt. And he wanted that truck, and I took this on trade. And it's not in too terrible a shape. I mean, especially for a 61. It's actually a year older than me, so I'm happy with the shape it's in. We got a big hole there. I think what we're going to do is just patch it up and, and try to keep most of the patina. And then I'd like to drive it around because it actually runs and drives. It's got a tiny little six-banger in it. And it's a three on the tree. And we need to fix the brakes on it and fix it so there's no holes where exhaust can get up into the cab. And then we can uh, get her inspected and drive it. So I got the brake parts laying in there. You can see how faded the packages are just because it's another thing that just went on hold when I started working on the barbecue. Well, I put the hood up and released the wasps. There they are. They're flying all around again. Yeah, it's swarming with them. But anyway, we can get a quick quick look at this. But a little, just a little sick banger in there. She runs good. Um, I don't even know what size that is, but I think it's like a 250. I don't know what they had available in 61 in these F100s, but she'll fire right up and run. Got a little holly on it, a little holly one barrel carburetor. Yeah, it's a neat little truck. All right, I gotta close this hood and put the wasp back to bed. Well, guys, I hope you liked my little tour of uh, all my project trucks. It's uh, a little overwhelming sometimes, but I'm gonna just start nibbling at them and doing one at a time until I get them all done. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.